Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. The 2017 Palmetto Heart Walk, getting heart healthy one step at a time. And with one out of every three deaths in the United States caused by cardiovascular disease, Jeremy Clark and Ellison Tunnell have stopped by to tell us some things we can do to get our hearts in better health condition. Welcome to the show. Thank Thanks. You. Thanks for having so, us. So, yes, I'm so glad to have you both. So, Jeremy, what is your role with the Palmetto Heart Walk? Well, I'm very honored to be this year's chair of the Palmetto Heart Congratulations. Walk. Congratulations. Which has been great. Uh, in, in that role, I've worked with our executive leadership team. We have a goal of raising $100,000 this year, wow. uh, which is great. And so we're on our way uh, towards that goal. We're also raising awareness uh, of the event itself, trying to get people out and active and walking with us. My organization, Hilton Head Regional Healthcare, is the has partnered with the American Heart Association to be a sponsor for good, which means we're a year-round sponsor committed to helping raise awareness uh, and raise funds to uh, to help improve help improve cardiovascular health. Yeah, that's wonderful. And what is the Heart Walk doing different? this year? Well, the, the, you know, the Heart Walk has always been a great event, a very yes. successful event, uh, but we're always trying to improve it. And so this year, one of the special things that we have for our top walkers, those individuals who raise $1,000 or more, uh, will be free massages and free breakfast for, for them and a guest. Um, but we're also really trying to raise awareness among young people. Yeah. And so one of the things that we're doing this year that I think is really neat is that we are having a high school CPR competition. And what that means is we've got a couple of different teams from local high schools who are going to perform CPR and compete to see who can do it the best. Sure. And so we have got uh, members of Hilton Head Island Fire and Rescue to judge the competition, uh, to really get the students in it and hopefully raise awareness within the schools as well. Yeah, so that's, that's something we're, we're really excited about that. You know, a lot of people don't know that the American Heart Association, it was really their advocacy efforts right. that helped lead Georgia and South Carolina to pass legislation to mandate hands-on CPR training for all graduating seniors which is a really great thing and we think it's going to save a lot of lives I so we're so excited too. about this. I think it's terrific. Um, congratulations Ellison on winning the title of Mrs. South Carolina International so please share how you are involved with the American Heart Association. I, I entered the pageant because the international pageant system is a big supporter of the American Heart Association Go Red for Women because women lead men in cardiovascular deaths. What a win, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the support of it is awesome. Um, the platform that the pageant enables each woman to speak about throughout their reign is honestly the reason why I did it. And my story, I wanted to help inspire people and help them because I once was very overweight and through diligence I was able to lose the weight and live healthier and I wanted to maybe inspire and help other people. Yeah, right. that's wonderful. So um, a couple of lifestyle changes that you've had to go through? Yes, um, basically you know, it was hard for me because when I was pregnant I gained a lot of weight. So we after all tend to do that. I, I, I was with you. <laughs> Thank you. It's hard not to. I liked ice cream a lot. <laughs> and pickles. <laughs> but seriously, I, I ate because, you know, all the bad foods because that makes you feel good. Right. So I, I made bad decisions and I paid for it. So, you know, I had a healthy son, so that was definitely worth it. But, you know, I was in a body that I didn't recognize as my own because I gained so much weight. So after my son was born, I had a choice. I could either stay the way I was or make a change. And, right. you know, I really wanted to go on one of those fad diets that, you know, cause rapid weight loss, but my son was depending on me for nutrition, so I could not do that. So right. every day I just tried to do the very best I could each day. And, you know, those days added up to reaching my goal. Yeah. Um, some of the things we can do is limit our sodium intake. You think just because you don't put it on your food that it doesn't have it, but you have to right. read labels because sodium is in food. Um, exercise. Some people think that just because they don't have 30 minutes to go to a gym that, oh, I can't exercise, but you don't realize that you can do little things like park farthest away exactly. from the store. Mm -hmm. When you go grocery shopping, 
go to each end. Don't get everything in order, but just kind of stagger that. And if you do that throughout the day, it adds up to the 30 minutes you think you don't have to go. Right, and like Jeremy said, um, you know, education is a big part mm -hmm. of all of this. And quickly, Jeremy, how can the community participate? Well, uh, first, we'd love to have as many people as we can come out and walk with us. And on the date? Saturday, April 29th okay. um, at Shelter Cove uh, Community Park. We're really excited about it. You can sign up at palmettoheartwalk.org. Start a team, bring your friends, bring your family, bring your co-workers, bring your dog, uh, whoever you would <laughs> like, just get out and walk, be active, be healthy, and help us raise money for and this we'll great have all event. the information on the screen. I thank you both for joining us and for um, inspiring us. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.